have a client here today that came into our hospital for an emergency visit. She has a dog that's in labor and is having trouble delivering the pups. So I'm gonna go in here with the client to see exactly what's going on so I can try to help this dog. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm Dr. Blue. Nice to meet you. I'm Hi. Jamie. This is Ella. All right, so I understand that we had the unfortunate incident of having one baby and the rest are not coming out. Yes. My dog, Ella, delivered one puppy at home. I felt her stomach and you could feel the puppies in there. I took her to our local animal hospital and they did x-rays on her and they said that there could be possibly one or two more puppies in there. So the nurse there suggested that we come to Cypher Animal Hospital. All right, Mom, I'm just gonna look at your baby here. So it looks like we're doing good. What we need to do is we need to take Ella into surgery mm -hmm. and perform an emergency C-section. Okay. Because of the timeline, the puppies may not make it. I worry that we may have lost them. However, we always hope for the best. So we're gonna hope that they are alive and we can get them out. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use an uh, ultrasound mm -hmm. to actually look and see if there's a heartbeat on those puppies, which gives us a little bit more information. Right. If there is not a heartbeat, the process is gonna be pretty much the same. However, we're gonna remove her uterus. Okay. That way we never have to have this situation happen again. Exactly. I'm a little nervous for Ella to have the surgery because she's such an important part of our family. I want both Ella and the puppies to be healthy. Hello, All right. Ella. Here she is. So this is not a good situation for Ella already. The fact that she's been in labor for more than 24 hours, the promise of the pups coming out it has decreased quite a bit. The placentas have already detached, the oxygenation to the pups and the blood, the exchange isn't there. So it's really hard to try to figure out exactly what's going on until we get in there. But the truth is, I'm not very hopeful. I'm looking to see if I can find any heartbeats. I see a spine here, and I'm not seeing any heartbeats. Anything? Not yet. Not at all. Wait one second. Maybe we might have a heartbeat here. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. All right, that's enough for me to know we need to go in. Let's get her knocked out. I'm gonna get ready for surgery. See if we can get it done as fast as possible, and hopefully we can get in here and get somebody out. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub up. So I have Ella here. She came in because she actually needs a C-section. She had one baby vaginally, no assistance or anything. Well, unfortunately, there seems to be two left, and for whatever reason, she wasn't able to push those other two puppies out. We need to get in there as fast as possible because it's been hours since the, the puppies actually have had any form of oxygen. Hopefully we can get Ella out of here safe and sound. All right, Linda. It's gonna go pretty quick. Just got through the skin here. Let me know you about ready. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm opening the uterus here now. And I got the babies ready, ready to come to you. You ready here, Linda? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, baby, baby, baby. Baby. Carla, watch the anesthesia for me, please. We've got one puppy out. It's not breathing, but the color looks really good. The placenta is still intact, so I think it's the chance that we can save this one. Carla, I got another one here. I think I got an open placenta where this one was here. Since I'm gonna uh, spay her, okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and get this baby out. All right. All right. All See right. these little guys. This one doesn't look like too good. So by the time we got to the second pup, the pup was already gone. The color of the pup was actually blue, the face was puffy, and there was no point in trying to put mother through anything that she couldn't take care of. I know for a fact that last baby that I took out just wasn't viable, but I'm hoping that the baby that was closest to the cervix is viable. Come on. But it's always that possibility that because of the time, there was an issue. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, I think this one might, yeah! Give me the oxygen for me. We got one alive? It's a boy and he is crying. Touchdown. Good job. Good job, good job. Thank God. 
One of them is still alive. I know the owner's gonna be ecstatic. You know, I expressed to her that because of the timeline, you know, the babies might not make it. And hopefully mom will heal up just fine so that she can take care of her little babies. I should be done with mom in about five minutes. After that, she should be up within 10 to 15 minutes, ready to nurse her new puppy and her day old puppy. Good job, Ella. Good job. Ella and her puppies are doing just fine. We're gonna keep her overnight before sending her home to her family. Great job, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you it. to you, Dr. Blue. Hey, guys, come on. Look, Mommy, I got your babies. Ella, our emergency C-section dog, she's had some time to recover, and she's healed up great. I wanna know how Ella's doing. I hope she's not too sore. Hello. <laughs> Hey. How are you all? Hey. Hello. Big I've got girl. some babies Big for you. Girl. Yeah. Don't jump oh, out, look guys. at that spring in your step. Mommy. Hello, hello. Everything went really, really well. This was such a miracle and a surprising thing here. We were able to actually get in there, get the baby out. The two that we got, we're very happy about. And I know Ella, she's happy. She's a great mom. I'm glad that one of the puppies did survive. I'm sad to lose one, but I'm happy that we have two healthy puppies. We were originally told that the puppies were not going to be viable. I am very relieved. She's a great dog. She's gonna do really well. You have saved family, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so very, very much. Absolutely. Thank you. You all take care, okay? Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Bye-bye.